This video provides information about secondary growth in plants, the other type of growth that plants undergo for development. Secondary growth in plants corresponds to an increase in diameter. Contrary to primary growth, secondary growth is mediated by lateral meristems. However, if you see the yellow arrow, you will notice that secondary growth takes place from bottom to top, being the parts closer to the ground the first to develop secondary tissues. Secondary growth consists of the tissues produced by the vascular and cork cambium. The vascular cambium is responsible for producing secondary xylem and phloem. In other words, the vascular cambium produces a secondary vascular system. In this context, the xylem is what we usually refer to as wood. At the top of the plant, shown by the red square, you can see that while the vascular cambium is present and represented by the red line between the primary xylem and phloem, the tissues correspond to those formed by primary growth. The cork cambium produces a covering of waxy cells that serves for protection from water loss and invasion by insects and other pathogens. If we go down the middle and lower sections of the stem, shown inside the green squares, we see that the vascular cambium forms vascular rays that extend in opposite directions, forming secondary xylem and phloem. Furthermore, the cork cambium starts to form tissue towards the outside. This new tissue is the cork, that together with the secondary phloem, form what we know as bark. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in this video will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Images and diagrams are from Campbell's Biology 11th edition unless otherwise stated. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services in our tutoring center, which is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all of the details you need to know about these services in our website, which is www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You can schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For many information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.